All right, we're here today. I am Brian from Star Hello. Hero, and I'm joined today by Hayden the Eggman, eggmanevents.com, baby. And today we have the Card of Magicka online June regional for the One Piece card game. So if you yes. uh, didn't read like all of the titles and things like that, we this is a 1024 online regional. Got a lot of rounds today. We're going to start pretty quickly, but hey, how are you doing, Hayden? What's up? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, I'm definitely in the same location that I always am, so that's going to be good. Don't think about it too hard. And honestly, ready for some One Piece. It's the last week of this little mini format that we have where uh, OP07 is out in the wild, but it's not legal quite yet. But we do have that restriction list of Sakazuki, Great Eruption, and Rejection. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. And today, or at least this round, we should say, uh, we do have a, a matchup already. And I think we're already set up. And I think the timers are ready on. Tell us what they have as I tell them to start. Yeah, we are having two of our, I would say, fan favorite decks. We've got the purple yellow crocodile versus the blue doflamingo. Both have gotten a little bit of support with EBO1. And so pretty good for this format, especially since... Uh, you know, I think they got uh, a lot better with the cards that got hit, uh, you know, leaving the format. Yes, and ignore the image because I, I put, listen, listen. Okay, yeah. I'll update You got that. close. You it, got very close. It, listen, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell them. Uh, but yeah, Purple Yellow Croc versus a Blue Dofi, and uh, it's going to be a good one. So let me let me get there from there. Yeah, uh, you, guys can, uh, you guys can be pretty with. interesting. I, yeah. I do know that Dofi, again, has some new tools and will get a lot of new tools in OP07. Cards like Jimbei are uh, going to be very good. Being able to play another body off a of body has been fantastic. So that's that's a card that I know a lot of people are looking forward to. Crocodile doesn't, I think, get as much support, but uh, it's not a terrible deck. We do get the 10 cost ace potentially for that deck in the future but mm -hmm. um again uh, i think i think both decks being decks that are not like forefronts of the meta if you don't know what the matchup looks like there's a lot of tiny advantages like you can take from your opponent and uh i think that's something that's it's a good knowledge check for, for players oh for sure you know it's one of those decks that uh, uh you know we've, we've seen it before and and previous events and just in general people testing and and, and trying to figure out what's the uh the best deck if not the best quote unquote rogue deck because is there really mm -hmm. a rogue deck if we don't really know what the what the uh, uh the best decks on the format are um after a ban list right yeah. um we only had a couple of events a couple of major events obviously uh, red purple law and gecko and a couple others maybe uta prona maybe maybe prona um yeah. might have some showing but uh these two decks are pretty cool and just like you said i really like the the quote unquote support for dofi blue dofi um and uh, uh, I, I would be rooting for him on this one, even though I, I think, I don't know, maybe Croc take this one? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Yeah, uh, I think it really just depends if you know the cheese that that the Crocodile does. I will say Dofi is really good at establishing bodies on board, and Croc's not the best at removing them. So um, that could be something that's impactful for it. Um, Let's see, we're going to start off with the our two-drop searcher there, looking at top five for a Baroque Works. Probably hoping for the new Bond Clay. All right, yeah, double-checking what we've got. Yeah, so uh, the big thing I think that Crocodile got from, from this set is that we have just a lot more consistent ways to get that extra Dawn to get up there. And... I think that's the Miss Wednesday. I actually don't know which one that is from the from the card quality. Um, yeah, a little hard to see on the on the webcam. Plus, uh, I think <laughs> this card player probably has a lot more alt arts than me. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's expecting. But yeah, it was the Miss Wednesday. It was the the new blocker from EBO one as well. So it has opponent's turn. Uh, for Dawn minus one, you get to get a Dawn back, which works really well with the leader ability. Mm -hmm. And uh, looks like we're considering on this first hit what we want to do. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, uh, so we didn't, I mean, obviously with Croc, uh, oh, well, uh, Dofi, sorry, we're, we're going to be trying to look at the top of our uh, our deck as, as much as possible, but didn't really open any Perona or anything like that to do that. So we're just mm -hmm. going to go ahead and just hard cast the four costs, get the, the draw, and uh, hope for the best for the next couple turns. But we, we do have a pretty sizable hand so far. Uh, yeah. So I don't think they're they're gonna have a bad time doing that. 
Yeah, it's four life to three. We're going to do a quick uh, 6K and we're going to 2K out with Kaya. And then looks like we're going to pay three to play the Miss Wednesday that we played earlier or got earlier. Yes, yes, we will. So again, uh, on attack, uh, Dawn minus one. Uh, if your leader types includes broke works, you can add up to one Dawn from your Dawn deck instead of active. So you get to you know lose a Dawn and bring one back. But also with their leader ability, we get an additional Dawn back since we used a Dawn minus effect on our opponent's turn. So you do get that additional Dawn. And also, uh, it does. it's not when you block with this card. It's when opponents attack. So you don't even have to block with it. You can just um, get the Dawn and then keep it up if you want to try to do it again next turn. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think uh, just in general, uh, it's pretty cool to just have some you know support pieces. And if you aren't keeping up with the power pool or you don't play against things like this uh, too often, it's good. It's definitely gonna throw you off. Uh, we're gonna yeah. see how uh, our uh, Dofi player is gonna respond to that. Uh, but yeah. I mean, it's nice because you literally don't have to do anything. You just just wait for them to attack, unless they have removal, which. I mean, is there are there is there like a good spot removal, small spot removal for this? No, not particularly. I mean, like there's there's Marshall D teach, but uh, even then, with how the processing works, uh, you'd still be able to get the win opponent's attack if you play it off the Dofi attack. But we're just going to play another Weevil, which is pretty obnoxious. Having another six K there, oh, we're going to yeah. use our uh, our effects though. So we're going to get a Dawn back from the uh, Miss Wednesday, one from Leader, and we're going to see the seven K attack go in. Looking pretty good. Two 6Ks on board. Draw, drew two cards on that. The Delphi blocker um, able to get that top card and a 7K swing. You know, it's, it's just it's going to become a lot as this uh, this board widens. And Blue still has a good amount of like late game stuff that um, uh, Croc won't be able to kind of deal with too 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 easily. Another yeah, 6K and... swing here. Yeah. So we have. Three Dawn open, but we're just going to 2k out. And I think we're going... Are we going to 8 Dawn next turn? I think we're going to 8 next turn. Uh, yes. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, so if we, if we want to play our 8-drop croc, we'd be able to. Uh, we wouldn't be able to pressure e either of these Weevils, but um, that would be strong for us. Yeah, it wouldn't be a terrible idea. wouldn't be a terrible idea at all. Um, it looks like we're going for a 6k swing, probably into the one of the Weevils. There's a 7. Could be a big mom. Something yeah. Similar. Yeah, it uh, is. Yep. Okay. Oh, Snap takes it. Yeah. Snap takes it. Okay. All right. So that's 2 life, looks like. 2 R 3. Mm-hmm. Didn't even have to do anything. Just had to pay 7 non to get down to that. And I think we, uh, uh as we grow this wider board uh we're gonna have some decent swings coming in yeah and the the impactful thing too is that you don't want to really hit them lower than three because if you want to use yamato's effect to get rid of a four cost and get the on play effect um that would be pretty good so i think we're probably just gonna try going for board more um and i i don't expect another big mom unless we have no other plays next turn uh yeah i don't i don't think so either i think we're, we're probably gonna get the croc down if we take a uh a, a single life here which is pretty likely this blocker is most likely to be gone as well uh, i don't see why not but we're gonna go ahead and use the effect first uh even though we uh we tapped out on our dawn we got two more one of the cooler things about yellow purple croc right yeah, that, that's my favorite thing about it, is that we can be out of Dawn and then use one of our Dawn minus effects to get one back, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the name of this card. I'm going to look it up. I'm, I'm cheating. All right. Uh, I think that's perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, it is... I promise to know the effect. Is that do I gain points for that? No. It's color strap. Uh, so Don times uh, Don minus one up to one of your leaders gains plus one k power during this battle. Then rest up to one of your opponent's characters the cost of four or less. So, being able to get out of that one attack and then also rest one of the other uh, weevils is really nice. Kind of got out of two attacks for well, you, you have to put a little bit more, but mm -hmm. uh, that that's some good pressure for that card. Yeah, pretty cool. 
Purple has like a lot of really weird stuff like this, right? Like yeah, main stuff and counter counter step stuff where um, a lot of it's in Baroque works too. So mm -hmm. kind of makes sense. Yeah, I think this is good too, just because uh, there there are a good amount of. I mean, I'm guessing this mostly is to target down a, a red purple law, but being able to use that to uh yeah a lot of decks are, are relying on their four costs right now so it's good for that yeah gecko red purple law even this deck right so just it makes sense for sure i was just thinking about this trigger a lot of uh purple and yellow triggers out there and i'm gonna go ahead and hard cast this guy here which uh did we use the uh, leader effect i missed it completely on, on uh i don't think I, we did right i don't think we did no because okay. we knew our top three were from uh Mm -hmm. from our three drop and so i think we we just didn't have it sequenced well enough to to get an effect yeah or just didn't have any targets which makes mm -hmm. sense probably going into a weevil here mm -hmm. um i wouldn't hate blocking this and i i only say this because like if you know uh, know the red purple or yellow purple or probably yellow uh croc deck they're gonna be using a lot of dawn here to to play mm -hmm. something right so like at most they'll be able to have another 6k swing or maybe maybe seven. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna be ta tapping quite a lot here. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We already uh, countered out. We go ahead and Yamato, mm -hmm. and we're gonna pop a four cost. Thankfully. Oh, we're actually gonna get rid of the blocker. Interesting. Um, that's fine. I think I feel like the blocker is gonna be blocking anyway like they're gonna lose it anyway right like yeah i guess so right like i it, it, it's the same thing right this kind of guarantees a card out of their hand mm -hmm. right I, I guess that's fine i guess that's fine yeah it's better for you know denying them resources but i think it's worse on the um you know you're gonna get hit by four three six case next turn guaranteed right i also think like if you pop the blocker first you force them to get cards out of hand or take the take the ko right if you mm -hmm. swing with big mom because now because before he could have just blocked instead of pitching the cards but it's okay we're gonna go ahead yeah. and leader swing oh i don't know oh, this is sketchy this is a suspect i don't like when people do this yeah i'm i'm guessing 10 drop kaido is is coming that'd be pretty annoying <laughs> Because if we ten drop Kaido, um, what are we doing? We're just sending some stuff back, or are we? Uh... Um, no, sorry, there are two ten drop Kaidos. The the draw four one is the one I'm expecting. Oh, okay. I was like, are we? Yeah, <laughs> are we sending yeah, the yeah. stuff back, or are we drawing cards? Yeah, no, no, no. I I mean, you can play both. Uh, being able to bounce back like the Wednesday. And the seven mom would probably be not terrible either, but uh, we did just attach a dawn though, so that can't be the play anymore. So maybe it's a Mihawk to get rid of the Linlin. Uh, maybe, maybe. Okay, zero cost event with a Kiko Nojo. Mm -hmm. Turn that into a one k. Yeah. Oh, it's the Sanji. All right, here we go. What's on there? Oh, it's a ah, Mihawk. Oh good. my, that's that is good, fantastic. Right? Yeah, this this is a really good play simply because we're at three life, right? Like just yeah. the simple fact that we're at three life, and we have a board like this. Uh, only four cards in hand. I mean, we're not we're not taking game anytime soon. I don't think, but yeah, but no, this is this is pretty dire. Um, yeah, are usually we cap out at like removing an eight cost with a like Katakuri. Mm -hmm. We do play Raigo occasionally, but two nine drops hitting the board for this yellow purple croc, uh, is not in their favor. That no. is pretty rough to deal with now. No, it's not. And I think the best you can do is maybe like I don't think you even go for board, I think you can go for life because I think that. I mean, you don't have a hand for either one, I guess. I don't know, man. Like yeah. you, would, you really have to block her up and have a decent hand to defend with. But being on one life is just super dire. Yeah, and uh, we finally find an eight drop croc, which I'm sure if we if we had that naturally in hand, we'd feel a lot better because we'd at least be able to pressure one of these uh, four costs. But we're gonna play him out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get uh, lose two dawn, but we're gonna get a life back, and we're not. 
immediately losing next turn, but this is, I think, still in Dofi's favor. Yeah. I think you just swing face. You just swing face. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, this this one's tough. We, I mean, as Dofi, we, we did well to go wide, protect our board, and now this uh, this Sanji play is, is just kind of like the, the turning point, I think. Yeah. So, uh, being on two life... You know, there's there's some there's some stuff there's some stuff in life that can deter this uh, this turn quite a bit. Uh, our croc player only has uh, what one or two cards in hand, maybe three. Yeah, not not a lot, no. Yeah, not a, not a whole ton. So like, you can swing nines all day and probably be okay. You gotta watch out for this blocker. Sevens is okay too. Like seven seven seven's probably fine because like if you don't have removal for the blocker, you want to save these nine k swings, and we might have removal. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we have the tiger. Yeah, which I think is fine. We're gonna get rid of the blocker and one of the missile Sundays. Sure. Or sorry, the miss. Uh, not miss. I always forget the two drops name. Broke works. Broke. I know. Yeah, broke works. Thank Just say you. Broke works. It's fine. Broke works. Broke works, dude. All right. Uh, just a 6k swing. Gonna make it awkward for these 2k holdings. If they have any. Yeah. Also to bait out this uh, this 8 drop. Yeah, we're gonna use our 8 drop effect too. So, Dawn minus 1, we get to draw 1 trash 1. Uh, we're gonna get a Kiko Nojo out of hand, not surprising. But that also means we get 1 Dawn active. Mm -hmm. With our leader effect too, which means that we can use some defensive cards as well, which... We might need, but we're going to 2k out of the 6k. We're going to go 7 here with our other Moria. Pretty good. Uh, beige, we're going to say Sanji can't attack. Pretty good there. We're going to go 7 with our leader. We're going to take that. Okay. Not the best look here. I mean, yeah, and then last 9 breath. at leader. Blast breath, blast breath. Oh, we're gonna Okama away, probably into the two drop, and just let it go. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yep. 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 There goes Miss Valentine. And then you, you don't swing. Wait. Uh, we got beiged. Oh, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I get for uh, looking at the card. Yeah. Okay. So not dead. Not, and you know we're we're like one damage away from being able to maybe win this on the crack back, but I don't think it's gonna happen though. It's sure. gonna be pretty tough. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty pretty tough. You could fight a another croc here. Yeah, Let's we see. could we could play the croc and then we can get rid of yeah the two four drops likely on on board too. Yeah, we swing into those. We have another life. It's fine. Do you have? Oh, I thought we were. I thought we were at one. Are we at zero? No, no, we're zero. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll be at one, so you can. <laughs> I'll just keep it there. We'll change it just to change it back. Yeah. I'll keep it there. So two, two. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I mean, we're still sitting pretty pretty as Dofi, even if we lose both of these guys. Yeah, um, I think if if we only played Mihawk. I think Dofi or uh, Crocodile would have been fine to to handle that, but playing both mm -hmm. is what, uh, which just a, a little bit too much pressure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, going down to two, and then we don't live in the what and what ifs. Yeah. We live in the reality of we're gonna face a two big boys in a one life. Oh, we're uh, not. We're not playing the. Huh. I don't know why. Um, I mean, interesting. I maybe. I mean, we'd be down to seven dawn because we lost additionally one last turn. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use our leader effect. Yep. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Zero cost effect, but yeah, I couldn't get there. Yeah, I'm, I, I am surprised. Yeah, why we didn't play the the eight cost event or the the eight cost a crocodile because we had dawn for it mm -hmm. i don't know either i don't really have a good reason for you 
Mm -hmm. Unless our entire hand. That doesn't even matter, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for that, for that round, or at least that match. Still got about 15 minutes or so uh, in the main. Uh, so let me let me go check. I can do some some looking around. Yeah, we got about eight minutes actually on that. Oh yeah, because we we started a little bit late. Yeah, so we can we can probably take an exit and and maybe try to properly find a match for next round. <laughs> that would probably be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. If there's any leaders that you guys are wanting, let us know. We can uh we can do our best to find them. We were trying to find an Ivankov, but. Um, all, all the matchups for those seemed pretty, pretty stale, to be honest. So that, I think that was a good one that we were able to find for that one. But, yeah. um, if you guys want something that's, uh, not Ivan Kavla, let us know. Uh, and for anyone joining late as well, this is the EBO 1.5 format has been called is a two week format here in the English version where we have, uh, OPO seven, not legal, but we do have the restriction list of Sakazuki reject and great eruption all banned from this event. And mm -hmm. so there's, uh, you know, a, a couple, I would say, obvious choices for this. I think Moria, Red Purple Law, and Sardak Uta have been pretty standard for at least representation. But we do have a lot of room for a lot of kind of like unknown or under the radar decks to potentially just come out of nowhere. Yep. It's kind of the cool thing about a quote unquote new format, right? And um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot what I was going to say. It's just cool. Yeah, it's a great time. It's a great time. It's a great time. Uh, I was just reading the chat too. Yeah, this uh, this is not OPL seven. Just uh, no. as just a, as a reminder, I don't think there's any Rebecca. Um, there's a couple I saw. Yeah, don't tell them that, man. You did. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, personally, I I would like to see you know Ivan Kov. That'd be pretty cool. Dofi was mm -hmm. another one of those, so we already got to see that. Uh, Reparable Law, I've always liked. So, but we're gonna see that later on. I'm sure. There's a whole. Yeah. 10 rounds today uh so i i almost guarantee we'll see a, a number of them today um because yeah, i think the the final total based off table numbers is what 10 10 something 10 like i think we have i think we have a thousand and one players exactly yeah I, I, I'm, <laughs> we're up there dude and yeah. oh i want to see a white beard i do want to see a white beard yeah white, white, white beard unfortunately is not that great in this format too. well at least i feel like it, it shouldn't be that great because of gecko and his wolves uh uh, reparable law, but I, I keep it wrong. I keep it wrong. I don't know. Yeah. People, people argue about that. Um, either way, we can take a little break, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> and, and, uh, it shouldn't be too long with, uh, overtime should be less than 10 minutes, but go ahead and continue to put your, your, uh, requests in the chat and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yep. See you guys in round two.